With a delayed attempt by government to revamp the Tema oil refinery, experts fear a likely collapse of the facility which once contributed some 5% to Ghana's GDP. Following the commissioning of a foreign-owned private refinery expected to dominate the market, many believe the Tema oil refinery cannot match up the competition even after its revival. George Quinnin assesses the situation in this report. Ghana's economic fortunes were once heavily reliant on it, but now a shadow of it for myself. We cannot have such an asset idling when there are, you know, credible businesses or business entities that can actually support the resuscitation of the company. Tor has over 800 people uh, getting paid, you know, every month. So they need to work. The facility revamping has been a contentious issue leading to the interdiction of two local union leaders who insist the facility deserves better. Setting us aside will reduce the, the, the impact of the union work at the refinery because um, they need to clear us off their way so that they can, but it's too late. This will not, will not amount to anything. As the agitations and concerns persist, the Tamaaya refinery seems to have been dealt with another blow. The commissioning of a private-owned refinery has triggered red flags from experts. Executive Secretary of COPEC Ghana, Duncan Amwa, says the commissioning of the private refinery is a final nail in the coffin of Tor, signaling a gloomy day for Ghana's petroleum industry. This is what the president had to say on the raging Tor revival. The challenges of another domestic oil refinery, the Tama Oil Refinery, are well documented. Nonetheless, I want to assure the Ghanaian people the government remains committed to the full operalization of Tor and will stop at nothing to bring it back on stream so that together we'll send you more and more of our oil will be refined here, right here in Ghana. But can the president's assurance of revamping the facility amid the simmering despair be an area of hope? Josh Quinnin, TV3 News, Accra.